sugar, corn syrup, and gelatin. How can something so simple be so delicious? That stuff's nasty, Francis. To the unsophisticated palate, yes. But to me, the candy quack is nature's perfect food. And then I could eat a hundred of them. No way. All that marshmallow would expand in your stomach. You wouldn't get past 50. Okay, that's where you're wrong, Joe. See, the marshmallow wouldn't expand. It would dissolve. I'd never get full. In fact, I don't think- Will you just can... shut up? I have sat back and said nothing while you've gone on and on about how you can eat a hundred of this and lift a hundred of that. The quacks would expand. You're an idiot if you think different. Okay, let me tell you something. If I say I can eat a hundred quacks, you can take that as a bona fide guarantee. And there's no need to resort to personal attacks because I'd hate to raise the whole issue of you wearing boxers in the shower. Look, my freshman year, I ate seven pounds of grapes in one sitting. I think I know what my body is capable of. We're not talking about grapes, Francis. We are talking about pure sucrose. The human body simply cannot absorb the sugar in 100 quacks. Yeah. Uh, hey, in extreme cases, the human pancreas has been known to increase its insulin production by up to 60%. Yeah. Listen, your pancreas can produce enough insulin to fill a swimming pool. That doesn't mean squat. If your adrenal gland can't distribute it into your bloodstream fast enough. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen, gentlemen. This argument is pointless. One.